Hi everyone, today is Mac Pro launch day and yes, I have ordered the Mac Pro. In fact, I did it about, well, just over an hour ago, I ordered the new Mac Pro for 2013. And I went for the six core version with 16 gigabytes of RAM, standard graphics card with three gigabytes of VRAM on each, because uh, it's got dual graphics cards. And I went for the standard memory configuration, but I also upgraded it to 512 gigabytes of storage. And then with regards to the memory, I'm hoping to do a crucial memory upgrade to 64 gigabytes. But alas, Apple only gave us the ordering facility for the new Mac Pro. It's not actually going to be dispatched until January. Uh, some people are saying December 31st. But anyway, it's going to be with us in January 2014. So I'm actually now just getting into editing mode. You can see my computer behind me here. I'm going to edit yesterday's video. Then we've got a little bit of DIY to do in the house and also some shopping to do. And that's pretty much it for today. Although there'll probably be some uh, sort of exciting things throughout the day as well. So please do stay tuned. Look at this, a bright sunny room. The sun is out and what's really weird is literally 20 seconds ago, it was hailing. We had hailstones, really fast downpour. What is the weather up to lately? But anyway, I'm sitting shut in the studio because we've been spraying this spray around the house for fleas. Um, we haven't got an infestation or anything, but we just found a couple of fleas on Milo. And it's really weird. I mean, I don't know if any of you have got dogs. Well, I know some of you have, because you've told me. Uh, but we treat Milo with this front line. It's like a pipette type thing, and you put it on the back of his neck, and you do it once every sort of four to six weeks. And that's meant to eradicate the fleas on the dog. We also shampoo him roughly every three to four weeks as well. So we're not sure. He's obviously picked them up from somewhere. We're guessing that maybe when he goes in the back garden, there might be a hedgehog out there or something, or he's just picked them up while he's been out. So um, it's not an infestation or anything. It's only, I think, two or three we found on him. So we're hoping that this spray, which we've done upstairs, and then we will do the rest of the house as well over the next couple of days. We'll get rid of any sort of eggs or anything that are lying dormant, if there are any. Um, but I hate fleas. They're all jumpy and itchy and they bite. So I hope we get rid of them. Anyway, I did some recording earlier. Itchy nose. And um, now I'm just catching up on some emails. I didn't intend to record today, but I ended up just doing three videos. Just so that I've got three videos recorded that I can then edit and put up over the next couple of weeks. I like to keep a few in sort of reserve. So, and we're coming up to Christmas, so I'm obviously going to be taking a few days off. So um, they recorded okay, actually. I, I used the other Panasonic G6 because I've got two, and I wanted to test out the lens on the other one, the latest one, and just to check that everything worked on it properly. So I cross-matched all the settings so it looks identical to the other one. So it'd be interesting to see if the 14 to 140 millimeter lens actually resolves any more detail. So I thought I'd make today's video a little bit different and answer a few comments or questions I got in the comments on this very video. And I might do this regularly if you like me doing it. I stopped doing the Q&A sessions because it sort of got too formal and repetitive. But if I get a few questions come in on these daily videos, then why not? So I noticed here, I had a question from LNHC, who's asking what lights are being used in your room? They look great, thank you. And where did you get them from? Well, I use LED lights now, and I've been gradually upgrading all the lights throughout the studio, the editing room, and the house. And I've got them from LED Hut. Now they don't all look like this, but this one's a LumiLife bulb. And if you look in there, it's got little LEDs in it and they're very low power, but they've got a really nice output and you can buy them with either a warm white or a cool white output. And I've got a bigger LED in the ceiling light in the studio and it gives a very bright white light. And I got them from ledhut.co.uk. So it's ledhut.co.uk. And in one of the other rooms, in the dining room, We've got GU10 bulbs and I got those from Amazon and don't always go by the wattage, look at the lumen output. That's what I did to get the brightest ones that I could find. So 
another question here, and this is sort of a question, but uh, I don't know if, if it was really a question, but anyway, it's Red Milk Float says, have you really got a picture of Steve Jobs on your wall? And yes, I have. Let me show you around there. If you look over there, there is a picture of Steve Dot Jobs on the wall. And I got that quite a long time ago, actually. And it's a, a photo that I then manipulated in Photoshop. And then I got printed onto a canvas, at a company called Snap Mad. So that's a really good question, actually. Um, let's have a look. Any more questions? I thought I saw someone else. Oh, this one I did already answer in, in the comments, but I'll let you know in case you're wondering. So it says, uh, it's from Jamaica Boy, and it says, Dave, have you have the top end MacBook Pro 15 inch. How well does it perform? And yes, I do have the 15 inch, there it is, just down there on my lap, the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. And I will tell you the exact specifications about this Mac. Just to let you know, it is the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7, and it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM in it. And the question was, how well does it perform? It performs unbelievably well. This is the fastest Mac I've got in my setup at the moment. Uh, it outperforms my Mac Pro. It outperforms, obviously, my Mac Mini. Um, and it just flies at video editing. It just really goes through the video very, very quickly processing it. And I really am so, so happy that I went for this one. I didn't get the first Retina MacBook Pros because I think they were a little bit underpowered for the Retina display. But this one, absolutely fine. Very, very good indeed. Uh, another question. Uh, Rodrigo Vazque. I hope I'm saying your name right. What happened to your roof? Humidity. I think you're referring to the ceiling in this room. And there are a couple of stains on it. But... Some of them might be humidity, but the other one is an old stain I just haven't got up there and painted over. Uh, and John White, this is a very good question actually. What happened to the intro for your vlogs? And John's referring to the fact that I don't have music and the intro at the beginning of the vlogs. Well, for those of you who don't know, uh, YouTube recently made some changes uh, regarding content ID matches. And basically it's a system that goes through music in videos and it tries to match them for copyrighted material. Now all of the music I use is actually licensed. So I've actually paid for a license to use that music. And sometimes the content, content ID matching goes wrong. What happened before, so go back like a week, was that I'm on a network, a multi-channel network, an MCN, and the content ID matching system wasn't applied to my video. So people on networks were sort of behind a cloak, for want of a better term. And YouTube switched this. They sort of turned the switch and now everyone goes through the same content ID matching system. And even though I've got licenses on all of my videos and all of the music and it's all my own content, I was still getting copyright matches. And then that meant that my video was flagged and I wouldn't be earning revenue from it. So that's no good for me. You know, I earn my revenue from my YouTube videos. I put a lot of work into them and I've been doing it for seven years and it is an integral part of my income. I don't hide that fact. But what was happening was things were being incorrectly matched. So I thought, right, from this point forwards, I'm going to be very, very careful. So I've reversed some of the tracks I use. I've reversed the music tracks. And with the videos that you're watching on a daily basis from me, these personal videos, I thought, well, just get rid of the intro altogether. And then I talk at the end of the video, as you probably have heard now. So that is why the intro disappeared, because it just wasn't worth the hassle. So it is now late at night and dark outside. We have just had a KFC and it was very, very tasty. In fact, it was finger licking good. Now it was a really good meal actually. And it's, it's quite funny though, because KFC isn't probably the healthiest of takeaways, because it's sort of fried chicken. And I always have rice instead of chips in mine, just to sort of try and counterbalance it a bit. But I do like the flavour of chicken. It's very, very good. We were going to actually have fish and chips, but the fish and chip shop we normally go to is being refurbished. So alas, we couldn't. So it was an exciting day. Mac Pro Day for many people. Everyone got their orders in, myself included. So that was really exciting. And tomorrow, 
is one day closer to Christmas. We're already on the 19th. By the time you watch this video, it'll be the 20th of December. So very, very close to Christmas now. Very exciting as well. I do get excited. Oh, give you an update. Somebody, and it wasn't me, has put some more presents down there. Look, there's some red and white wrapping paper appeared under the tree, uh, hiding some secrets, no doubt. So it's going to be fun to see what's in those. None of them with my name on, though. Not that I've looked. I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video. Hit that like button, and thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.